Nico. I am the game designer and lead programmer of High Rises, um, the first project of Solar Powered Games, a company that I run with my father. My father, Marcus, he's an architect and he does all the business development stuff of our company as well as the level design because um, High Rises is an urban survival RPG and the setting is in a a large city with uh, many skyscrapers and those skyscrapers are designed by him. Um, in High Rises um, we have the classical post-apocalyptic zombie survival setting wow. uh, with a bit of a twist and in our story um, humanity was, uh, was struck by a disease that um, caused people to go to bed in the evening and never to wake up in the morning. They just kept on sleeping and no matter what the doctors and the scientists tried, they couldn't get them awake. And uh, this caused them to uh, sl uh, sleep and stay in their dreams forever. And in this state they uh, changed and mutated and became the zombie-like dreamers that are the main antagonists in our, in our game. Um, in high rises you control four survivors of this um, calamity which were unaffected by the disease because uh, for various reasons each of them was suffering from insomnia and they could not fall into deep sleep and uh, get into dream state so that the uh, mutation could not start. Now those four survivors are trapped on the rooftop of a skyscraper in a large city and they need a mean to escape. The problem is um, all of the of the um, lower floors of the of the skyscraper and all of the streets are populated by the mysterious dreamers, and they have no way of getting down to the street. Their only way of escape is um, an old wrecked uh, helicopter that is on the rooftop. And if they can get uh, if they can patch it up and fix it, they will not be able to fly like uh, four kilometers, but they may be able to uh, just jury rig it uh, uh, sufficiently so that you can make a small leap onto the rooftop of the next building. And so, from building to building, they uh, try to get their way out of the of the city. Wow, what a crazy story in a way. Very creative. Now here, uh, I'm, I'm starting a demo now. And as you can see, we, we have the helicopter on the rooftop and we start with uh, the first of the four characters. In the game, normally you control all four char characters at once, but uh, we, we started in the tutorial introduction with just one, so not, uh, not to overwhelm the player. This is Ike. He is um, a former army pilot and mechanic, so he is very well equipped for repairing the helicopter. And let's inspect it, what's wrong with it. There's, Many things are wrong with it, but just to get it in, into the air, the first thing we need to do is to repair the rudders. And we see that we need electrical engine and wire and some cocks for that. And to get that, now uh, the second character, Jess, is introduced. And everything in high rises that looks like it uh, does not uh, belong to the, the main building structure is interactive. You can either pick it up or disassemble it and use uh, uh, the ingredients, the parts for crafting. So this antenna relay we have here, we just uh, switch the power off so that, we, so that we can safely disassemble it and start disassembly. This looks like an old VGA game from DOS times. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Um, we we went for the for this for this old school pixel style, and it's just upscaled for the um, for the larger screen size. But that way we can make the, um, the art assets pretty efficiently and we think they still look good. They have a, a, a charm that uh, invokes the nostalgic feelings of, of the time when we were like, had the... Um, well, my time was not the, the, the Amiga era, it was a bit later, it was like more the, the 8-bit and 16-bit consoles, but still it was a great era for, for pixel art and we want to to invoke that feeling without the technical limitations and restrictions of that of that era. So we don't um, do the pure orthodox philosophy of pixel art with uh, palette limitations. We also have uh, lighting effects and stuff that we could not be done at that time, but still we, um, we embrace the, the, the pixel art um, textures and, and sprites. So 
that shading you mentioned sounds a bit like Simple Beat Park, Ron Gilbert, because they also use the shading technique. Mm -hmm. That sounds a bit similar. If we um, if we finish this tutorial phase, we will see how the um, the daytime progression. Um, uh, the daytime progresses and then the, the light will change because in the afternoon and the evening the light will get more soft and yellowish and then in the night it gets dark. So here we have a um, third character and just brought some of the of the gears we needed. We also have um, some, we got something from disassembling this engine and in the in this rack here we also have some wire and from disassembling the antenna we got even more wires, and with that, if we give all that to Ike, he should be sufficiently equipped to uh, repair the helicopter. And yes, the rudder repairs can start. So, we can also disassemble um, other things like, uh, like this, this warning brand. But uh, it simply yields uh, some wood and simple uh, and simple resources. So now we have unlocked the scrolling. We can investigate what is what can be found in the skyscraper. And as you can see, on every floor there's many things to uh, to explore and to disassemble. And if we get on the on the lowest floor, we even find the, the dreamers already there. During the day, they are more more docile and they don't they won't attack. But as soon as the sun sets, they will start climbing up through the skyscraper and try to engage us. So the goal of the dreamers, unlike a regular zombie in your zombie flick, is not to, to kill you or eat you, but rather to beat you unconscious. Because once the, um, the players are unconscious, they are in the sleep mode that the mutation requires. So they would start to also get changed into dreamers. As long as uh, only one or two or, um, or even three of your guys are unconscious, you still have a chance to, to finish it because you can uh, revive them and either carry them to safety or um, just get them back up on their feet. But as soon as all four of your players are down, the game is over. Is there any way to fight Rimas or yes. Yes, um, you need, uh, you, uh, you find uh, some weaponry, but you also can craft all kind of, of weaponry to engage them. But there are also non-combat ways to deal with them. Like, as I said, they are light averse and you can build uh, ultraviolet flashlights to scare them off. Or you can build um, certain things that lure them to a certain location while you uh, investigate another one and try to get the equipment back up where you need it. So I can go back to that route or the last way and just... Exactly, exactly. Wow. And um, here is a... Um, um, a crafting station where you can craft all kinds of tools or equipment like the melee weapons or ranged weapons, explosives, defensives, traps, turrets, parts, machinery like uh, this engine that you can use for the helicopter and uh, even upgrades for the um, for the workman yourself with this table so you can um, um, do all kind of woodworks more efficiently. So. Um, each player has his own unique skill tree that you can uh, put a point into. Ike has this mechanic part, because he was a mechanic, uh, which you can use to unlock new recipes and craft more machinery. You can invest your, your energy into the pilot aspect of the, of the game, so that you can upgrade the helicopter more efficiently and use it to transport goods uh, that you've crafted or found onto the next building. That leads me to the question, what if... Um, one player is in the dreaming state, and it's the one that has a skill that you need to progress in the game. You need um, you need to get him out of the dreaming state. So it's you say nothing that they uh, safely stay for several days. It's just like oh god, he got knocked over. You should get him up as soon as possible because you need his skills and his powers. So in this time I can access him. Yeah, and as soon as one becomes unconscious, uh, all his equipment gets dropped so that you can, can um, pick it up because it would be uh, bad if he was stuck in his inventory. Yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, you, can, you need to find food um, to uh, keep your guys well fed and healthy. Therefore, you can either find it, like in a refrigerator or in supply uh, shack, but uh, you can also um, water and fertilize plants and grow your food. You can even go do stuff like go hunting. Wait, so okay. okay, okay, that's 
about it Chen my virus as it will be uh, out on Steam in 2019 second quarter it's uh, for PC and Mac in the beginning it will be single player only um, later we think about if we can uh, maybe do um, some couch co-op mode which would be great or the control scheme also um, calls for tablet um, port but in the beginning we will focus on uh, releasing it safely on um, as a single player game very nice very interesting thank you very much that's great thank you guys